We're so glad that you're all here today to join with us in the cantata. Um, I have one annou quick announcement. Uh, it is a series of songs and readings, but it's considered one story. So if you feel like you just need to applaud, that's great and we'd love it, but please wait until the very end. Thank you. A voice cries in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. We gather here to prepare the way for the coming of the Lord. We come to remember when God visited the earth in the form of a child. And we meet to worship the Lord and to celebrate the new life he offers us. We pray that we will experience God's presence in a fresh way. This is the true meaning of Christ's birth. The angel said he would be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. God is always with us, but when we welcome His Spirit into our hearts and minds, we experience the comfort and the power of God's presence. Before Christ came into the world, God's people awaited His arrival for centuries. So now, we wait that God will move among us as we listen to the story of the Christmas miracle. The psalmist said, the Lord is good to those whose hope is in Him to the one who seeks him. It is good to wait quietly 
for the salvation of the Lord. Come, let us be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. While the world waited, the Spirit of God was stirring. Angels began to appear and brought messages to earth as they prepared for Christ's birth. And the angel said to Mary, Fear not, for you have found favor with God. And behold, Mary, you will conceive in your womb, and you shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to Zechariah. Fear not, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you are to give him the name John. Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Fear not, Joseph, to take Mary as your wife, and she shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. Thank you. 
The angels said, Fear not, the Lord is with you. This is the essence of the Christmas story, that God became flesh and lived among us. It is a great story of love, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Fear not, for the Lord is with you. Listen as Luke records Christ's birth when the Lord of heaven and earth became flesh and lived among us. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn.
Fear not, for the Lord is with you. As the child was born, the angels continued to bring their message of comfort to the earth. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them and about them. And they were so afraid. But the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem. They had seen a star in the east and had come to worship him. Like the Magi, we seek the Lord and remember the words of the psalmist, 
O God, you are my God, earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My body longs for you in a dry and weary land. When the Magi saw the child, they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. We can join the Magi in their giving as we draw near to the Lord and open the treasures of our hearts. Instead of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, we bring our gifts of love, adoration, and praise as we bow to worship the King of Kings the Prince of Peace.
When we are in the presence of the Lord, we feel his holy peace and all is well. Because of Christ's birth, all is well between God and us. For through this great gift from heaven, we are reconciled with God and can experience holy peace in our souls and new life in Christ. To celebrate this new life, we come to sing Noel. Some believe that the word Noel began as the phrase, now all is well. In Old England, people used this as the Christmas greeting. Christ is born, to which the response is, Christ is born. Noel. Christ is born. Noel. Noel. 